Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Cody. Welcome to Unit 2, Back Quack. Um, so today's article is about a chiropractor, or many chiropractors actually, in Florida. Um, people have been lining up outside the chiropractor's office to get special notes so that their children won't have to wear masks in school. Wow. Um, and this has been somewhat of a controversy um, because the chiropractors make no effort to screen out people who have actual medical conditions and people who just don't want to wear masks. Screen out. Screen out. So chiropractic is a uh, long-standing medical medical-ish tradition um, mm -hmm. that was founded by a man named Didi Palmer. Um, and he developed this practice to, he thought that the spine was responsible for um, our overall health. Mm -hmm. And so he would adjust the spine um, to fix all kinds of problems, not re just related to back pain or other spine-related issues. Um, and he was labeled a quack by many people in the broader medical community because um, they didn't believe it had a medical uh, backing to, to his beliefs and his strategies. Label. Label. But it has become very popular in the US and all around the world. Um, and many chiropractors these days practice other things. They work on diets and health and exercise um, and even physical therapy and other things like that. Um, so have you ever hurt your back? Uh, unfortunately, I have. A <laughs> very That's... long story. I'll condense it very short. Um, but yeah, from a car accident that I was in oh, in no. 2014, had some spinal issues. Um, and, you know, what you said about chiropractors being quacks, there, it's kind of that perspective. You mm -hmm. know, there's a stigma to some of them. And, you know, they just adjust or pop the spine, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, I've been to several. and. Okay. I would honestly say some of them I thought were terrible doctors. <laughs> Quack. Quack. Um, but there was there was two that I thought were very good. Mm. Now they studied different medicine than just chiropractic as well. Okay. So they had a better approach and focused on my muscles and stretching and other things to help support my spine. Mm. But um, yeah, not all chiropractors, I would say, are quacks. Okay. But there's that perception, you know, uh, that label kind of sticks with them. I think so. How about for you, you know, hopefully? Um, uh, I have not had any major injuries good, good. of my spine. I broke my ankle once, oh, but oof. did not require a chiropractor. So. <laughs> Probably a brace and something else. Yeah, time. walking in a cast for a while. It, was, mm. it took a lot of time, but fortunately nothing yeah. serious. Now we're both from America, so yes. do you know of many chiropractors in America or heard um, about the practice? I've obviously heard of chiropractors and chiropractic. Um, I have never visited one. Okay. Um, so I don't really know much about the practice. I know that in um, American TV shows and movies, they do often make jokes mm. about chiropractors <laughs> not being real doctors. Yeah. Um, but I think that it's obviously been around for a long time and it's not overly regulated, so it's got to be doing something. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I think it's mostly with like pain relief, muscle mm -hmm. tension relief, things like that. And also some sports medical therapy. Right. It's pretty good, but as in help, like you said, the D.D. The D. Palmer was his mm -hmm. name, yeah. like affecting the organs and the whole body. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the language focus. The first point is allow to. For example, a good education will allow you to get a good job. Mm, very true. And for the second one, to date. So for my example, the U.S. has had 46 presidents to date. That's it for the preview. We'll see you in the review section.